camera work for coming out? There must be a choked in there, the dressing room. Yeah, I mean, obviously the lads are a bit disappointed, as you can imagine, um, to lose so late in the in the game. Um, you know, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a body blow. But uh, immensely proud of all the boys, uh, the efforts everyone's given this season, and, and the progress um, the club's made. So, you know, it's it's no nice way to lose a game of football, and especially with what's at stake. But I think the lads, um, you know, when it sinks in, what what we've really achieved at this football club is special, and it is progression. Um, it's a football club that's going places. And you played so well, particularly in the first half. Yeah, definitely. I thought we played well in, on Friday night as well in the first half. It was a game of two halves and um, you know our game plan was magnificent. I thought we executed it to a T. Uh, to a man, everybody did their jobs. We just couldn't get that goal and uh, the first goal in a tie like this was always going to be crucial. And it, when it came, when it did, it's then really, really difficult to get back into it. Yeah, yeah coming, coming as late as it, as it does, especially to the home team and you know, they had a shop shop and then it's, it's pretty much a, a difficult task from there and in. But, you know, like I said, the, the boys will pick, pick up the pieces and, 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 and digest the result. Um, you know, maybe not tonight, now, but you know, over the summer, and, and you will realise what a, a good job we've done. I can imagine what it would have been like in the dressing room, just quiet, no doubt, just no one saying anything. Yeah, pretty much. You know, obviously the lads are, you know, dis disappointed and you know, obviously a little bit upset, but. Um, you know, the manager had a, had a chat with the boys and they said, look, he's, he's, he's proud of the group and, you know, not this group, but, you know, the staff and everybody, um, what's, what's been a part of it this year. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's tough coming out here and, and speaking about something uh, that, uh, you know, I'm sure, you know, you know looking back at it, we, we give uh, as good as we had today and, you know, we just fell short. Mm. Emotional for quite a lot of the players, including yourself? Yeah, of course. It's never nice to lose a game, especially with what's at stake. You know, we, we, we truly believe we could, it was a winnable tie. Uh, there wasn't anything in, in both legs. As you could see, uh, you know, probably off the balance of it, we, you know, we had the better chances to to win to win the tie. But um, you know, the football is about taking those chances, and unfortunately, we wasn't able to do that. Um, but you know, like I said, immensely proud again of, of, of everybody, you know, the, the players, the staff, the supporters, the whole football club, and you know, hopefully, it's a football club what's what's progressing and going places. Just fine margins, isn't it? Football, it's always fine margins. Yeah, totally, it is. Um, you know, you see that in the playoffs, you know, year in year out. Um, there's nothing. Much it is not home first leg or second leg and um, it's always going to come down to, to small margins there are tactically um, you know strong side like we are uh, two organized teams who are very very good tactically both uh, got you know good managers who, who are tactically good and can change things and um, you know it was always going to be decided by a set piece or, or a mistake and, and, and ultimately it was I suppose the message maybe rest up now and then we go again next season yeah of course the message is is, is that really it's 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 progression um, you know it, it, it might sound a little bit too positive but uh, you know you have got to take some positives out of this season and the positives are this football club got to where it's got to um, because of all the hard work it does and the people associated with the football club, the people who run the football club, the people who are in charge of, of everything and you know it's just really good human beings inside the football club and can't reiterate that anymore. Have you got a message for the Luton fans because you weren't able to go and say thank you and goodbye to them this season because of all that happened at the end? Yeah I mean it's just disappointing you know they've travelled up in their numbers there and obviously with what happened at the end of the game their fans coming on, on the pitch understandably we couldn't we couldn't go over but you know we'd just like to thank them for, for being with us every step of the way and you know we hope we did them proud in, in, in some way this season and hopefully next year we can kick on and, and give them more moments to, to cheer Awesome Thanks Cameron Cheers Jess First off as you mentioned you, the atmosphere and how, was and how, how you played in that first and how much can you, can you learn and take from that too that you can handle um, occasions like this Yeah I think it's always a learning curve football I think you're always learning and it'll give you that hunger to and that drive hopefully to come back and, and be there again because this is where we want to be as a, as, a, as a group, as a football club, we want to be involved and, and trying to break into that next tier up and, and, and that's what it's about, it's experiences and unfortunately someone has to lose and unfortunately that was us tonight um, but you know we're, we're, we're proud in defeat, uh, we're proud of, of what we've achieved this year and um, you know people would have written us off given where we thought we was going to finish in the, in, in, in the league and the targets we set but we set big targets because we believed in the group and believed in the players and, and the process and what this football club does and what it's about um, and yeah like I said you know we, we come back next year and we'll hopefully come back strong. You mentioned the chance of one for Harry either side of the keeper and it was in wasn't it in, in the first half? Yeah it's unfortunate you know it's, it's great movement from Harry um, it's got great contact in it and, and the goalkeeper's not known anything about it it's just hitting flush in the face and those things can happen you know uh, in, an instinctive shot. Um, 
he's almost played too well, but you know, Harry's not to blame for that. You know, we've had plenty of chances, you know, throughout the tie to to score goals, and you know, ultimately, if if, if you don't take those chances, you, you can be punished, and that's what happened tonight. Second half quite ending was nothing. It was a header for you from one of Cam Naismith's excellent free kicks as well. It just couldn't quite get that goal could they really. No, and it was always going to be the case where whoever scored first was probably going to go on and win the tie. And you know, like you said, we had we had chances and moments in in both halves, but um, you know, we just couldn't quite take it tonight. And you know, obviously, we're disappointed in that. And you know, we'll um, dust ourselves down and go again. Nathan said as well now, looking ahead at the next season to try and even, even surpass what you've done this season. Yeah, I mean, football club sets big targets. You know, people will probably look at it and say, yeah, you know, the club achieved this year and, you know, that'll be that for them. But, you know, we want to get to the next level and the football club is on, on a trajectory to do so. Uh, whether it's now, whether it's next year, whether it's the year after that, it's, you know, it's progressing nicely, like I said. And, you know, hopefully we we can come back strong next year. We can learn from this and we can put that disappointment and turn it into into a positive.